getting tax out of taxi apps? Sean Glancy, partner, Indirect Taxes, RE Hacker Young LLP discusses the HMRC probing Uber's model based on apps over VAT and the implications for the ride-sharing app's competitors. There has been much news in the press regarding Uber and their VAT position. Reports are of a £1 billion provision for UK taxes and action by HMRC to recover the VAT considered due. It is not known if this amount includes any provision for penalties. This article is intended to provide a view of some of the developments in the taxi electronic platform, taxi apps, sector from a VAT perspective. The market. Uber have a reputation for not accounting for VAT on their taxi activities by basing their platform in the Netherlands. Others have long been operating at a commercial, 20%, disadvantage which impacts not only shareholder value but also competitiveness, pricing and driver recruitment. Perhaps worse, they are forced to follow the tax-efficient model and provide app services from overseas. Some new operators in the taxi app sector are making representations in their advertisements that they pay local taxes, presumably UK-unlike some of their competitors. There is also an issue for drivers. Some have inadvertently breached the VAT registration threshold and been required to register for UK VAT. The consequence of this is that the income previously below the VAT registration threshold is now deemed inclusive of VAT, creating a 20% cost, only marginally mitigated by some VAT recovery. I am aware HMRC had created a team including VAT, corporate tax and employee taxes specialists to better understand the sector. It appears the fact-finding phase has finished and we may be in an enforcement cycle. The issue. The position of the app provider is they are providing app services to independent taxi drivers. They introduce the passenger to the driver and charge a commission to the driver for that introduction. There is no supply to the passenger by the app provider under this model. If the booking platform is based outside the UK, the Netherlands in respect of Uber, then no VAT is accounted for on the commission by the app provider. The obligation passes to the driver who is required to account for VAT under the general place of supply rules, as this is a B2B transaction for VAT purposes. The theory is the driver accounts for the output tax due, instead of the supplier, and recovers that VAT as input tax. This would work perfectly for the authorities if the taxi driver was VAT registered. The driver would apply the reverse charge to the app services which would be neutral and A for more on this story, visit the news article link.